You talk blues. It's a gas. Well, I knew it wasn't music. <laughs> In 1963, a captivating science fiction sitcom aired on CBS, starring Ray Walston as Uncle Martin, a Martian, and Bill Bixby as Tim O'Hara, a newspaper reporter. The show ran until 1966. It was a beloved series that entertained audiences with its quirky Martian character and humorous interactions. However, one particular scene would change everything for the show. Stay tuned to uncover the scene that led to the end of this classic TV series. And she was all of ours. I can't believe it. The trouble is... Uncle Martin crash landed near Los Angeles and lived with Tim, who kept his identity secret while Uncle Martin repaired his spaceship. Uncle Martin could raise antennae, become invisible, read minds, levitate objects, communicate with animals, and manipulate time. This classic showcased Uncle Martin's extraordinary abilities and the comical situations that arose from trying to keep his powers hidden. Tim and Uncle Martin's adventures navigating Earth while concealing the truth, provided audiences with a blend of science fiction, comedy, and heartwarming moments. The dynamic between the two main characters kept viewers entertained as they awaited Uncle Martin's eventual return home. Despite the challenges they faced, the bond of friendship between Tim and Uncle Martin remained strong throughout the series. Their escapades captured the imagination of audiences and left a lasting legacy in the realm of classic television. Brownwood. She's coming out of her kitchen door right now with a plate of fudge brownies. Fudge brownies. They're only an excuse. She evidently saw him coming in. In its first season, my favorite Martian ranked number 10 in Nielsen ratings, capturing the hearts of viewers with its quirky charm. However, by the end of the second season, the show had slipped to hash 24, signaling a decline in its popularity. Despite efforts to revitalize the series, the third season continued to struggle to recapture its initial success. To breathe new life into the show, a fresh character named Andromeda was introduced in the third season, aiming to pique the interest of the audience and rejuvenate the storyline. The addition of Andromeda brought a new dynamic to the series, offering a fresh perspective and injecting a sense of novelty into the beloved classic. As the show navigated through these changes, fans eagerly anticipated how this new character would shape the future episodes and potentially elevate the show's standing in the eyes of viewers. My favorite Martian faced both triumphs and challenges throughout its run, with the introduction of Andromeda marking a significant chapter in the show's evolution. In the third season, the show underwent significant changes. It transitioned from black and white to color, and moved from Dezillu Studios to MGM Studios. Ray Walston, who played the lead role, expressed feeling typecast and relieved when the show came to an end, likening his experience to being in prison. Wayne Stam portrayed the character Andromeda, but only appeared in a single episode. Despite these alterations, my favorite Martian remains a classic piece of television history. What was under the drape leg, man? Well, as an ancient philosopher once put it. Oh, no, when you start quoting ancient philosophers, I'm... After its successful run, the TV series spawned my favorite Martian comics and an animated spin-off series. Wayne Stamm, the actor from the show, continued his career in theater and eventually became a high school drama teacher. Ray Walston, a seasoned actor who began his career in 1939, achieved considerable success. He won a prestigious Tony Award and appeared in acclaimed films such as The Apartment and The Sting. To see is the garage. <laughs> That's right. That ain't necessary. I know what a garage looks like. We'll come back and... Following the conclusion of My Favorite Martian, Ray Walston moved on to star in the CBS drama Picket Fences. He received three Emmy nominations and won two awards for his outstanding performance. Unfortunately, the initial charm of the TV series faded over time, leading to its eventual cancellation. Tragically, Bill Bixby, who portrayed Tim O'Hara, passed away from prostate cancer on November 21, 1993. Walston and Bixby's contributions to the show left a lasting impact on both the cast and audience. Uh, look, this, um, this may not be very important, but uh, my name is Tim O'Hara. I'm Marsha Carson. Oh, well, it's... Um... Ray Walston, known for his role in My Favorite Martian, passed away from natural causes at age 86 on January 1, 2001. He brought humor and charm to the show, captivating audiences with his quirky portrayal of a Martian trying to fit into human society. Walston's performance was a key element in the show's success, endearing him to fans around the world. His talent and presence on the screen left a lasting impact on the television industry, cementing his place in the hearts of viewers. 
Walston's legacy continues to live on through his memorable work in this classic series. Pay the two billion dollars. Oh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Tim. In the swinging era of the 1960s, a TV show burst onto screens captivating audiences with its blend of science fiction and comedy. My favorite Martian followed the quirky adventures of a Martian named Uncle Martin and his human companion, Tim O'Hara. This classic show brought imagination to life as Uncle Martin's advanced powers led to hilarious mishaps. Set against the backdrop of the space race and Cold War, the series reflected the fascination with outer space during that time. With its unique premise and lovable characters, my favorite Martian became a beloved staple of television history. Its legacy continues to enchant viewers with its otherworldly charm. We're sorry we had to disturb you, Mr. O'Hara, but your article disturbed us. To cast the key actors for the 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian, a meticulous process unfolded to find the perfect fit for each role. The role of the endearingly quirky Martian, Uncle Martin, was landed by Ray Walston after a captivating audition that showcased both his comedic timing and dramatic depth. Bill Bixby secured the role of the affable Tim O'Hara, the perfect foil to Uncle Martin, through a chemistry test that highlighted the natural rapport between him and Walston, solidifying their on-screen dynamic. Pamela Britton's portrayal of the nosy landlady, Mistress Brown, brought a delightful contrast to the main characters, adding a touch of humor to the show. Through careful auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments in casting decisions, the ensemble cast of My Favorite Martian was expertly chosen, setting the stage for a beloved and successful TV series that would capture the hearts of audiences for years to come. The directorial vision behind the 1963 TV series, My Favorite Martian was focused on blending sci-fi elements with comedy in a light-hearted manner. The director aimed to bring out the quirky and whimsical aspects of the story, emphasizing humor and fun while exploring themes of friendship and acceptance. Drawing creative influences from classic science fiction and slapstick comedy, the director infused the series with a unique charm that resonated with audiences. The director's style involved a balance of playfulness and heart, creating a world where the extraordinary meets the ordinary. Collaborating closely with the cast, and crew, the director encouraged improvisation and creativity on set, allowing the actors to bring their characters to life in a way that felt authentic and engaging. This collaborative approach helped in capturing the comedic timing and emotional depth of the show, enhancing the overall viewing experience for audiences. The director's keen eye for detail and ability to merge different genres seamlessly contributed to the success of My Favorite Martian making it a beloved series that continues to be remembered fondly by fans of all ages. Through their innovative approach and dedication to storytelling, the director was able to craft a timeless and entertaining show that remains a classic in television history. And you won't be able to get the necklace back on Henley. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, no one may leave this room. During the production of the 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian, the set design aimed to create a futuristic and otherworldly feel. Locations featured a mix of interior sets meant to mimic a Martian spaceship and typical Earth environments. Logistical challenges included coordinating special effects for Martian powers and integrating them seamlessly into scenes. Innovative techniques like chroma key technology were employed to depict the Martians' invisibility and other supernatural abilities. These advancements in special effects added a captivating layer to the show's production value. Jumping beans. The musical score and soundtrack for the 1963 TV series, My Favorite Martian, were carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the show. The composers and musicians involved worked tirelessly to create music that would complement the on-screen action and dialogue. By using a mix of whimsical, mysterious, and upbeat melodies, the music helped set the mood for each scene and added depth to the storytelling. Composers like George Greeley and Harry Geller embraced the quirky and light-hearted nature of the show, infusing their compositions with a sense of fun and adventure. The use of different instruments and musical styles brought variety to the soundtrack, ensuring that each episode had its own unique sound. These creative choices not only entertained viewers, but also drew them deeper into the world of My Favorite Martian. The music became an integral part of the show, resonating with audiences and enhancing their overall viewing experience. 
Through their talent and dedication, the composers and musicians succeeded in creating a soundtrack that stood the test of time and continues to be fondly remembered by fans of the series. Be story on us, you ain't got much time. Would you like some tea? No, thank you. We are flattered that you should... One of the most iconic scenes from the 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian is when the Martian, played by Ray Walston, reveals his true alien form to Tim, played by Bill Bixby. The direction in this scene was pivotal, as it built tension and suspense leading up to the big reveal. Walston's performance as the Martian showcased his ability to blend humor and heart in a compelling way that resonated with the audience. The cinematography in this scene was also noteworthy, with clever camera angles and lighting used to emphasize the magical transformation of the Martian. The impact of this moment on the audience was significant, as it marked a turning point in the relationship between the Martian and Tim, adding depth to their dynamic and setting the stage for future adventures. Filmmakers and actors involved in the series have commented on the importance of this scene in capturing the essence of the show and highlighting the bond between the Martian and Tim. Ray Walston's portrayal of the Martian was praised for its warmth and charm with his on-screen chemistry with Bill Bixby being a standout feature of the series. Overall, this iconic scene not only showcased the talents of the cast and crew, but also solidified my favorite Martian as a timeless classic in television history. Hypnotism. I taught it to Cooey, and I was with Count Mesmer when he... The 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian had a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences by blending science fiction with comedy, creating an engaging and entertaining show for viewers. The character of the Martian, with his advanced technology and fish-out-of-water experiences on Earth, captured the imagination of many and sparked discussions about the possibilities of alien life. The show influenced pop culture by introducing unique gadgets and futuristic ideas that became popular in the science fiction genre. It also contributed to discussions on relevant social themes such as acceptance of differences and the idea of welcoming beings from other worlds with understanding and compassion. Through its humorous take on alien-human interactions, the series encouraged viewers to reflect on the importance of open-mindedness and empathy. Overall, my favorite Martian left a lasting impact on both cultural entertainment and social conversations, showcasing how media can shape perceptions and inspire thought on important issues in a light-hearted and engaging manner. The 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian received a mixed critical reception. While some reviewers praised the clever writing and comedic performances, others found the premise to be somewhat silly. Audience reactions were more positive, with many viewers enjoying the lighthearted and imaginative nature of the show. Despite the mixed critical reception, the series received several award nominations, including a Golden Globe nomination for Best TV Show in the Comedy category. These accolades are a testament to the hard work and talent of the cast and crew involved in the series, showing that their efforts were recognized and appreciated within the industry. The nominations also likely helped to bring more attention to the show and attract new viewers. Overall, the critical reception and awards for My Favorite Martian reflect the show's impact and lasting legacy in the world of television. So, uh, exquisite. But when it comes to music, I'm definitely partial to during the filming of My Favorite Martian, some interesting behind-the-scenes anecdotes emerged. Actor Ray Walston, who played the Martian, would often entertain the cast and crew with his witty jokes and lively personality, keeping everyone in good spirits. Bill Bixby, who portrayed Tim O'Hara, was known for his dedication to his role and his professionalism on set. One memorable incident involved a prank where a crew member dressed up as a Martian and surprised the actors during a scene, leading to laughter and a break in filming. Despite the challenges of shooting a science fiction show in the 1960s, the cast and crew of My Favorite Martian formed a close-knit bond that contributed to the show's success. Equipment of any kind in this, you are going to get free room and board in a federal prison. And don't you... The 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian holds a significant place in film history paving the way for future filmmaking with its blend of science fiction and comedy. This unique combination inspired many works that followed, influencing the approach to storytelling in both television and film. The show's legacy can be seen in the way it brought together elements of fantasy and humor, setting a precedent for similar productions that aim to entertain audiences 
while exploring imaginative themes. Its impact on pop culture and the science fiction genre is evident through the lasting influence it has had on subsequent works, showcasing how a single television series can leave a lasting mark on the entertainment industry. Trying to read Mrs. Brown's mind is like trying to read a can of alphabet soup. All the letters are there. Do you have fond memories of the 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian? Share your experiences with us. How did the show impact you personally and shape your view of cinema? Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic discussions. Ah, how you earthlings fool yourselves. You keep saying that the seat of love is the heart, but obviously it's the stomach. And loving